Hey hello friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see a detailed review on the all new Asus Tough F15. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. As we know, ASUS has released A series which had the Ryzen Ryzen processors. So now they have released the F series which is F15 and F17 specifically for the Intel users. But in this video, we will concentrate on the F15 model which I had bought recently. These are the specification of the lab which I use. Basically, it uses the 10th gen Intel iCore i5 processor with the 8GB RAM of 3000 MHz and the GPU to users is 4GB NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 and you can even switch it to Intel UHD. It has a display of 15.6 inches and of course you can see its design and battery. So now let's see the user review. It's been a month and I don't find any sound or disturbance in the H. Fortunately, you can see it has got a better build. When it comes to the color, Fortress Gray is not much fascinating because I can see the exterior getting dull day by day. Even the backlit keyboard isn't too bright, but it's not that bad to find the keys at dark. And with the 48Wh battery, we can use it for about 3-4 hours straight once it's fully charged. When it comes to the RAM and storage, we have got 8GB RAM which can be expanded up to 32GB and a 512GB SSD. Uh, if we want, we can add a hard disk to the empty slot. But however, if you spare a thousand rupees more, you can go with a 256GB SSD and a 1TB hard disk drive variant, which is worth for money. And now, let's check with the performing aspect. If you are a casual gamer and you want to stream, you can definitely go with the Asus Tab F15 or F17. You can see the game just in my channel where the FPS maintains about 100 to 120 if the charger is plugged in and if not, it will surely drop to 30 to 50 FPS. And when I stream for about 1 hour or more, it gets heated up to 70 degrees Celsius, which is not a bad performance, but it may increase for higher end games like Avengers, Fortnite, or etc. And of course, the dual fan design and the rear chasers helps to reduce the heat and maintain within the 50 degrees Celsius with a practical speed of 4000 RPM. With the 144Hz refresh rate display, you would enjoy your game for sure. When it comes to video editing or other educational software which you are going to use, you can definitely go with this laptop. Of course, it can heat up, but the fan out would do its job at its best. When it comes to its price, 72k rupees. It's a little bit expensive, but the specification they provide would make it worth to buy. And if you like this video, drop a like and share to your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. Thank you.